Hey everyone, it's Tuesday, March 16th. Happy 316 day if you're a wrestling fan. Let's play day 75 of the quest calendar and get our daily dose dungeon crawling and our RDA of RPG. So yesterday it seemed like the overwhelming majority of us gave something to help out the beggars. Let's see what happens today. Today we continue exploring the city and spot a common thief picking the pocket of a merchant. He did so very quickly and cleanly. You're the only one who saw him. You continue to monitor closely. The man is unarmed and doesn't appear dangerous. He then uses some of the gold to buy food. So today we have four options as to how we can deal with this situation. We can ask the man to return the gold to the merchant by rolling a d20 plus our charisma, and we can use the persuasive ability there. We can demand him to give you half the coin or you will turn him in. And we'll do that by rolling a d20 plus our strength. We can use the intimidating ability if we have that. We can hand the man some gold of our own by removing three gold from our character sheet. Or we can attack the man by rolling a d20 plus our damage. And the ability reminder today, you can pick the pocket of the pickpocket. So we come over here to the tower, and this is a different dice tower today. This was sent over to me by the folks at Game Tank. This is their farmer's house, and it is a dice tower made out of building blocks. That's what we're going to call them. They're similar to Lego, however they're not. Uh, it was quick to put together. It's about 260 pieces or so, and there's going to be a link to it down in the description. They also have a Wizard's Tower set coming out that I hope to get my hands on soon, and you can use it as a dice tower there. And there's a functional door down here that when opened would allow you to have a look inside. And it's kind of cool like that. So we're going to use this as our dice tower for the unforeseen future. All right, and looking at our options for today, we have these four where we can either ask the man to return the money, demand that he give you half, give him some gold of your own, or attack the man. Well, Jasper has pretty high charisma, and we have the persuasive ability. So we're going to go ahead and roll the d20, and we're going to try to ask him to return the money by adding a plus three to whatever the d20 says here. So our first roll in this tower gives us a 13 plus 3 for a 16. And when we check the results, if we ask the man to return the gold and we roll a 15 or more, the man lets out a sigh and lowers his head in shame. You're right. He walks back to the merchant and returns the pouch. The man lies and tells the merchant he must have dropped it. The merchant feels relieved and surprised by the man and hands him a loaf of bread. So we're being faced with a series of tough decisions. Do we do right? Do we do wrong? Turn a blind eye or try and aid in the, in the theft there. What'd you guys do today? Did you talk him out of it? Did you just slay another guy in the middle of the streets? Let me know down in the comments. Like the video while you're there. And then subscribe if you aren't. And let me know what you guys think of the... We're going to call it a Lego Dice Tower. Let me know what you guys think of that. It was fun to build. Uh, I'm going to go and see if I can't get some pieces to maybe build a Lego Jasper. Or at least something that looks like him. Down there in the comments, let me know if you would like to join the band of LEGO adventurers, and I'll see if I can't make your character as well. And then we can all be down there watching the Dice Tower, hoping for high rolls. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow, and we'll see what kind of decision we're faced with then. I'll look for you guys tomorrow.